Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is d -Lo and I've got another video for you guys. But this one, I was going to do a, another week update um, of all the things that we were going to miss. But this particular topic is so big that it's going to warrant its own video for sure. This one will probably go over. I know I've been giving you guys a lot of shorter content recently. And I want to keep that up, of course. But just the nature of this, I want to go through this and read, at least read, the names of all of these different things for you so that um, you can get your uh, uh, just general understanding of what is coming. You pretty much won't even need Netflix with all that is coming on Disney Plus at launch. Not even the stuff that's coming like we're talking about the Loki show or the Hawkeye show um, or like a lot of the the promised Star Wars projects that'll come after like the Rogue One thing and the Obi-Wan. No, no, no. Forget all of that. All of that newer stuff what all you need basically is everything that's happening at launch and i guarantee you're gonna be like you know what it's probably worth 6.99 so let's go ahead and take a look i'm gonna go ahead and switch my screen right now so you guys can see this let me go ahead and just check this if you guys um i'm getting a notice here if you guys are having any issues on your side seeing me um and seeing this stream please let me know in the live chat so that i can either cut it short or make an adjustment that way um, I don't end up burning all this time, but you guys go ahead and check this out. Follow me along here. I'm over here at Slash Film. They had uh, this breaking news. Here's the complete list of movies and TV shows coming to Disney Plus on launch day. This isn't. This means that it's not going to be things that are going to launch progressively as it goes on. No, the day that it launches, you have full access to everything on this list, and that is huge. So. Um, I will go ahead and just uh, get into that for you. I don't want to waste too much time. All right. So I'm going to skip ahead of all this stuff. Um, and we're going to go ahead down here. It says there's some Fox titles that they're not – that we didn't notice a handful of them available at launch. Like 500 Days of Summer, which was Fox Searchlight released. The first entry of Diary of Wimpy Kid franchise. The sequel, Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties. And uh, Miracle on 34th Street. Both the original and the remake from 1994 and The Gods Must Be Crazy and a few more. Several of these. But it says you'll notice that the forthcoming titles like The Mandalorian, Lady and the Tramp, Noel, The World, according to Jeff Goldblum, are not on this list. Although they will, in fact, be available when the service launches on November 12th. So even though those titles are not on the list, just add those in your brain to this massive list. So let's go ahead and just start uh, with this one here. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger if I can. I don't know if it'll let me. Um, just for the sake of reading. Because <laughs> this is going to get absolutely bonkers. Okay. So here we go. We have, for the movies. This isn't even TV shows yet. Let's just do the movies. 10 Things I Hate About You. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. 101 Dalmatians from 1961. 101 Dalmatians from 1996. 101 Dalmatians 2, Patches London Adventure, and 102 Dalmatians. 500 Days of Summer, The Absent-Minded Professor, Adventures of Andre and Wally B, Adventures in Babysitting 1987, Adventures in Babysitting 2016, Adventures of Bullwit Griffin, Adventures of Huck and Finn, Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, The African Lion, Aladdin, Aladdin and the King of Thieves, Aladdin 2, The Return of Jafar, Ala uh, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, Alice in Wonderland from 1951, Alice in Wonderland from 2010, Alice Through the Looking Glass, Aliens of the Deep, Alley Cat Strike, Almost Angels, America's Heart and Soul, Amy, An Extremely Goofy Movie, Annie, Ant-Man, now we've got some of these Marvel films, Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Apollo Mission to the Moon, The Apple Dumpling Gang, The Apple Dumpling Gang Rides Again, The Aristocats, I love The Aristocats, Around the World in 80 Days, that was a great Jackie Chan film. Um, this one's great, Atlantis, Milo's Return, Atlantis Rising, Atlantis, The Lost Empire, I loved Atlantis so much growing up. Um, then we have Avalon High, The Avengers, Yes, uh, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Age of Ultron, Avengers Endgame. All of the four Avengers films will be on Disney Plus as of the day of launch. Um, Babes in Toyland, Baby Secret. We just got to the letter B, guys. 
<laughs> this is insane. And on movies only, not even TV shows. Babes in Toyland, Baby, Secret of the Lost Legend, Bad Hair Day, Bambi, Bambi 2, The Bad Concert, Bow, uh, The Barefoot Executive, The Bears and I, Beauty and the Beast 1991, Beauty and the Beast 2017, Beauty and the Beast Bell's Magical World, Beauty and the Beast The Enchanted Christmas, Beauty and the Briefcase, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, Bedtime Stories, Bedtime Stories, I think that's the one with um, Adam Sandler, if I'm not mistaken, Bedtime Stories, then Before the Flood, Benji the, Hun the Hunted, sorry, let me repeat that, Benji the Hunted, Beverly Hills Chihuahua, Beverly Hills Chihuahua 2, and Beverly Hills Chihuahua 3, Viva La Fiesta. The BFG, Big Business, The Big Green, Big Hero 6, which is a Marvel-Disney collaboration film, um, The Biscuit Eater, Bizarre Dinosaurs, The Black Cauldron, The Black Hole, Black Panther, MCU film, Blackbeard's Ghost, Blank Check, The Blue Umbrella, Bolt, I think that's the Miley Cyrus one with the dog, uh, Bound In, uh, The Boys, The Sherman Brothers Story, and Brave, I like, I really do like Brave, and then there's The Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars, and The Brave Little Toaster Goes to the Rescue, I vaguely remember seeing those as a kid, those are a long time ago, Breaking 2, Breaking Away, Bridge to Terabithia, now that's a movie I haven't seen in a really long time, I'd love to watch again, um, Brink, Brother Bear, Brother Bear 2, those were great, Buffalo Dreams, A Bug's Life, which was super epic. I watched that all the time as a kid. Burn E, Cadet Kelly, Camp Nowhere, Camp Rock, Camp Rock 2, The Final Jam, which are, those are the Jonas Brother movies, if I'm not mistaken. Can of Worms, Candle Shoe, Captain America Civil War, Captain America the First Avenger, Captain Marvel. Those are all three uh, Marvel films, MCU films. Then we have Cars, Cars 2, Cars 3. And then we have Cars, Tune, Air Mater. And then Cars, Tune, Hiccups. Cars, Tune, Mater, Private Eye. Cars, Tune, Mater, The Greater. Cars, Tune, Monster Truck, Mater. Cars, Tune, Time Travel, Mater. Cars, Tune, Heavy Metal, Mater. I'll be willing to bet they're going to make like 20 more of those. And then uh, Case Busters, The Castaway Boy, uh, sorry, The Castaway Cowboy, the Cat from Outer Space, Cheetah, The Cheetah Girls, The Cheetah Girls 2, The Cheetah Girls 1 World. Dude, I know a lot of people that were super into The Cheetah Girls growing up. Um, and then Chef Donald. Let me take it up here. Chef Donald, Chicken Little, uh, Christmas Cupid, The Christmas Star, Christopher Robin. That was a great, great movie. I really like Christopher Robin. Then they, yes, the, I did not know The Chronicles of Narnia were, um, were Disney. It says The Chronicles of Narnia. Prince Caspian, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. I cannot wait to watch those again. I love The Chronicles of Narnia. Those are some of my favorites. I absolutely love those films. Um, Cinderella, 1950. Cinderella, 2015. Cinderella 2, Dreams Come True. Cinderella 3, A Twist in Time. Cloud 9, Coco. I never got a chance to see Coco. I know everyone everyone's raving about it. I haven't seen it. College Road Trip. The Color of Friendship, The Computer Wore Tennis Shoes, Confessions of a Shopaholic, Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. I remember that. <laughs> cool Runnings. Cool. If you guys haven't seen Cool Runnings, that is an amazing movie. I think it had John Candy in it, and it was about the Jamaican bobsled team. It was a, a true story. I mean, I think they, they adapted it a little bit to be a little bit more funny and that kind of thing, but... Man, uh, what an inspiring movie. That movie's so great. You got You should all watch Cool Runnings. It's so great if you haven't seen it. And after that, one of the most uh, underappreciated, maybe, uh, maybe it's underappreciated only because people don't know about it, but The Count of Monte Cristo is a phenomenal movie which starred um, Jim Caviezel, uh, Aldrich Killian from Iron Man 3, his name is Guy Pierce. And Henry Cavill, as a, as a young boy, he was a teenager in the making of that film. So you get to see him before he's jacked out of his mind. And he does such a great job. It's such a phenomenal movie. I'm not going to continue on about that rant, but you got to see The Count of Monte Cristo. Next, The Country Bears, um, Cowbells, the, uh, D2, The Mighty Ducks, D3, The Mighty Ducks, and Dad Napped, Dan in Real Life. Darby O'Gill and the Little People, 
Davy Crockett and the River Pirates. Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier. I think I remember seeing that one. Uh, day, day and Night, Decorating Disney, Holiday Magic. Den Brother, Descendants and Descendants 2. I haven't seen those, but I know a lot of my fancaster buddies always talk about Descendants, and they do fan castings for Descendants. I really do want to see that, and I will be able to see it now that it's coming on Disney+. Plus. Then Diana, in her own words... Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dick Tracy, Dinosaur. Dino if you guys didn't see Dinosaur growing up, you did not have a childhood. Dinosaur was so awesome. Uh, one of the, it was probably one of the only dinosaur-related films or or animated animations that you could watch growing up uh, as a child, as a kid, because most a lot of people's parents weren't letting them watch uh, Jurassic Park until they were a little bit older. But Dinosaur was freaking amazing. And uh, I, I can't wait to watch that one again. Disney's A Christmas Carol. Yes. Disney's Fairy Tale Weddings. Disney's Fairy Tale Weddings Holiday Magic. Disney Nature African Cats. See, these Disney Nature things sound legit. I haven't seen these, but I, I love Animal Planet type stuff. Um, Disney's... Sorry. Disney's... Um, Na Disney Nature African Cats, Disney Nature uh, Bears, Disney Nature Born in China, Disney Nature Chimpanzee, Disney Nature Crimson Wing, Disney Nature Expedition China, Disney Nature Ghosts of the Mountains. That's uh, Ghosts of the Mountains sounds cool. Disney Nature Monkey Kingdom, Disney Nature Oceans, Disney Nature Penguins, Disney Nature Wings of Life, Doctor Doolittle, heck yeah, Doctor Strange, yes, MCU. Uh, then don't look under the bed Donald and Pluto. I saw that that one's a good one and then uh, Double teamed Doug's first movie. I can't believe they're bringing Doug on here, dude. That's so cool Doug's coming back Doug's first movie DuckTales the movie treasure of the lost lamp and then Doug's special mission Dumbo Dumbo live action. I'm actually glad they're doing the Dumbo live action on Disney plus because Nobody went to see it uh, it's a Tim Burton one. It looked a little bit kind of creepier. It had that Tim Burton vibe. Obviously, I think that's what they were going for, but it just didn't draw the crowd. I'll probably watch it if it's on Disney+, Plus, but I, I wasn't going to go see it in the theater, so this is going to be a win for them. Uh, Earth Live, Easter Island Unsolved, Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off, Eight Below, um, Emil and the Detectives, The Emperor's New Groove, one of the greatest... Disney films of all time, The Emperor's New Groove. If you haven't seen it, you must see it. Empire of Dreams, the Star, War the story of the Star Wars trilogy. That sounds cool. That sounds like a doc documentary. And then um, Escape to Witch Mountain. I never got a chance to see that, but I heard it was great. Um, the Even Stevens movie. Yes. They're bringing it all back, guys. Expedition Mars, uh, Spirit and Opportunity, Fantasia, Fantasia 2000, Finding Dory, Finding Nemo, The Finest Hours, First Kid, Flight of the Navigator, The Flood, Flowers and Trees, Flubber is coming back, For the Birds, The Fox and the Hound, and The Fox and the Hound 2, Frank and Ollie, Frank and Weenie, 1984, Frank and Weenie, 2012, Freaky Friday, 1977, Freaky Friday, 2003, and Freaky Friday, two, uh, 2018. I didn't even know they made one in 2018. Um, free, uh, here, let me go to the top. Free Solo, Frenemies, Frozen is coming on here, obviously. Uh, Full Court Miracle, Fun and Fancy Free, Fuzz Bucket, G-Force. G-Force was that hamsters one, I think. It was a really fun one. And then, uh, or the guinea pigs. I don't remember which one it was. The Game Plan, which is great. I think that's The Rock. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Garfield, The Tale of Two Kitties. Geek... Uh, what is it? Geek Charming, Genius, George and AJ, George of the Jungle, yes! George of the Jungle, George of the Jungle 2, Get a Clue, The Ghosts of Buxley Hall, Giants of the Deep Blue, Girl vs. Monster, Glory Road, uh, Glory Road, I'm pretty sure I've seen that one. I can't remember what it is though. Go Figure, The Gods Must Be Crazy, Going to the Mat, The Good... Oh, The Good Dinosaur. I remember seeing The Good Dinosaur. That was a good one. Uh, no pun intended. Good Luck, Charlie. It's Christmas. A Goofy movie. Dude, they're getting goofy on here. <laughs> Gorsh. 
getting freaking goofy in here. Uh, then gotta kick it up. Uh, the Great Mouse Detective, the greatest game ever played. Greyfriars Bobby, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy two. That's two more MCU films. Uh, the Halloween, and by the way, I'm not surprised that the MCU films are on here. I'm just pointing them out. Um, because that pertains a little bit more to what this channel is about anyway. So I just figure I better point those out when they come. Otherwise, you guys might tune out and not not pay attention. The Halloween Town High, Halloween Town, Halloween Town two. Calabar's Revenge, Hannah Montana the movie, Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus Best of Both Worlds concert, Hatching Pete, The Haunted Mansion, Heavyweights. If you guys haven't seen Heavyweights, you have not even laughed yet. Heavyweights is hilarious. It is so funny. It's got Kenan Thompson as a kid, Ben Stiller when he's like 20 like 22 or 23 or something. And he's like, he's like a fitness nut and he goes bananas. It's about a bunch of fat kids that go to fat camp and it's hilarious from start to finish. Watch heavyweights or you just have a sad life. I'm sorry. Uh, the help Herbie fully loaded. Herbie goes bananas. Herbie goes to Monte Carlo. Herbie rides again. Hercules high school musical, high school musical two, high school musical three, senior year, the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy. Hocus pocus. Let me see. Sorry about that. Let me get it up here. Holes. If you guys, dude, do you guys remember Holes with Shia LaBeouf? That movie was awesome. That movie was so fun. It was, it was fun. It was funny. It was, it was zany. It was, it was kind of like kind of creepy at times, but it was just, it was awesome, man. Holes was the reason I fell in love with Shia LaBeouf. I, I even, uh, what was it? Was it even Stevens or whatever he was in? And even Transformers. No, 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 no. I love Shia LaBeouf from his work in Holes. Shia is legit. And I, I've always loved him since then. Um, Holiday in Handcuffs. Home on the Range. Now, these are cool. Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco. And Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. Those movies were just, they melt your heart. Homeward Bound was such a touching, amazing film about dogs and, you know, a couple cats. And it was just, it was fun. It's just fun pets just roaming around the streets. What, what would they do if they got lost? You know, what's a, what's a dog to do? Um, then, honey, I shrunk the kids. Honey, we shrank ourselves. And honey, I blew up the kid. <laughs> and horse sense, the horse whisperer, how dogs got their shapes, how to build a better boy. The hunchback of Notre Dame, uh, or Notre Dame, 1996, and the hunchback of Notre Dame. Which, which this one does not have a, um, a date on it. Then I am number four. I believe that's the one with Alex Pettifer. And then I'll be home for Christmas. Ice Age, a mammoth Christmas. And Ice Age, the great eggs scapade. Uh, or egg scapade. Then Ice Princess, incredible, the story of Dr. Pole. And the incredible, I'm sorry. Then it's the incredible Dr. Pole, Blue Ribbons, ki Blue Ribbon Kids. Sorry. Heart, that's like a tongue twister for me. The Incredible Dr. Paul, Blue Ribbon Kids. Then The Incredible Journey, The Incredibles, The Incredibles 2. I love the, incredible, the Incredibles films. Those were literally the best version of the Fantastic Four we have ever gotten until hopefully Marvel gets their, gets their film out within the next three, four years. Um, I'm really excited to see what is going to come. But if, if all else fails and Fantastic Four just sucks forever... At least we had The Incredibles. All right. Inner Workings, Inside Out. That was the Amy Poehler one, I think. Uh, Inspector Gadget, Inspector Gadget 2. Dude, those were, those movies were awesome. If you guys didn't see Inspector Gadget and go to like Walmart every day trying to find all the new toys, the, the, you got it. You got to at least check it out. Those are great films. Into the Grand Canyon, Into the Akavango. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Into the Woods. Invincible, Invisible Sister, Iron Man 1, 2, and 3, Iron Man and Hulk, Heroes United. I believe that's an animated film. Iron Will, Jack, 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 Attack. Jack, Jack, Attack was a short film that was done to follow um, The Incredibles 1. So at the end of Incredibles 1, uh, you, you hear the babysitter. She's like, Mrs. Mrs. Parr, she's Jack, Jack, acting really strange around here. You know, she does that whole like thing. And to, and th they actually show you 
a parallel of like it's kind of like Lion King one and a half where it's the same movie it's still Lion King one but it shows Timon and Pumbaa's journey instead of Simba's what happens in Jack Jack attack is when the parents and the family drop Jack Jack off with the babysitter to go on their hero journey and, and save the world it shows what's happening with the babysitter and Jack Jack and it is an amazing short film like it's it's what got everyone excited for uh for a number two and so that that was really really fun so check that out too james and the giant peach jane the jenny project john carter johnny kapahala back on board johnny tsunami the jonas brothers the concert experience the journey of natty gan journey to shark eden that sounds crazy i've never seen that journey to the center of the earth i have seen that that one was good i think is is that one journey to the center of the earth that's the one with um Peta from the hunger games right yeah i think that i think that's what who, who that one is and then uh, jump in jumping ship jungle to jungle with a number two then the jungle book 1967 the jungle book 2016 the jungle book 2 the jungle book mowgli's story jungle cat Justin Morgan had a horse. Kazam, I think is Kazam. Is that the one? Hang on, let me just. I'm gonna take a quick second, guys. Let me just go ahead and look this up really fast. Kazam. Oh my goodness, that's the one with Shaq. That's the one where everyone thinks that there was a Shazam movie with Shaq, and everyone gets that because that's what that's the um. What's, what's that called again, guys? It's the Mandela effect, where everyone thinks that there was a Shazam movie with either Sinbad or or Shaq or something, but it was Kazam, not Shazam. Whoa, I'm really I'm really interested. I want to see that movie. Apparently, 77% of people like it. It has a 6% on Rotten Tomatoes, which means I might like it. Because <laughs> I don't always agree with uh, what the critics have to say. And then uh, the kid, I'm usually a lot more positive anyway. You guys already know my... I don't, that's why I don't do a lot of movie reviews, honestly, is because I generally find the good in things. That's just how, that's my outlook on life. And so I think a lot of people prefer outrage and I don't tend to get outraged and I don't want to fake it either. You know, I don't want to feign outrage. Like when the last Jedi happened, I did have some, some degree of outrage, but it's not really my nature to go that direction with my reviews. So I just don't, you know, if you guys want a review on something, tell me. And I'm more than happy to do that. I'll probably do it on uh, Spider-Man Far From Home anyway. But my reviews often are very positive. I will talk about what I didn't like, but it's usually not a focus and it's not like a lot of emotion into that negative part because it's just, I don't like to be burdened by that. So give me one sec, guys. I'm going to hold it right here. Let's take a look at the comments really quick. We have, um, people are saying no problem. Uh, like there's no problem with the audio, no problem with the issues. I'm glad because we've already gone 24 minutes into this. Just reading the names, just reading the names of these things, guys. Look at, we're in letter K now. In fact, there's, we, we just started letter K and we've gone 24 minutes just reading names of the films, not the shows, just the films. So that's why I couldn't do a whole like series of uh, topics here. This is just going to be a one one topic video but check it out go with me on this the kid uh a kid in king arthur's court kim possible 2019 no one really saw that but everyone passed around the trailer on instagram everyone was like showing the trailer i never got a chance to watch it but i probably will watch it i'll watch it with my daughter and then the kim possible movie so the drama uh which i believe that's the old animated one and i can't wait to rewatch that kingdom of the blue whale Kronk's new groove Excuse me, excuse me, put your hands in the air. And then uh, La Luna, Lady and the Tramp, Lady and the Tramp 2, Scamp's Adventure. That was a good one. I like that one. And uh, the last song, Lava. I don't remember what Lava is. The Legend of Mordo, or Mordu. That sounds fun. I like I like the legend of this. That's why I named my channel, The Stuff of Legend. Um, Lego, Star Wars, The Yoda Chronicles, Clash of the Skywalkers. That sounds so cool, guys. Lego Star Wars, The Yoda Chronicles, Escape from the Jedi Temple. Where have these been my whole life? I want to watch these. Lego Star Wars, The Yoda Chronicles, Race for the Holocrons. And Lego Star Wars, The Yoda Chronicles, Raid on Coruscant. Dude, I am so watching these Lego Star Wars films. I love Lego Star Wars. I love the games. I like the shows. Give me some movies. You do what you got to do. In fact, if you want to do like the Lego movie or the Lego Batman movie and just go full-blown 
on a big old Lego Star Wars franchise, you can take my money. I will watch those in the theaters. I'll review those. I'm going to do videos for those. I love Lego Star Wars. You bring that on. In fact, I'm, I'm a huge Lego fan. I am an AFOL, adult fan of Lego. And uh, my good friend Jill just taught me that yesterday. Yesterday she taught me that. There is uh, apparently a documentary where they call people AFOLs. And that's me. So, Lemonade Mouth, Land, or Lend a Paw, Leroy and Stitch. That was a good one right there. Let It Shine, Life is Rough, uh, Life Size 2, Life with Mikey, Lifted, Lilo and Stitch, Epic, Lilo and Stitch 2, Stitch Has a Glitch. I don't remember seeing that one. And then uh, The Lion King 1994, The Lion King 1 and a half, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. I remember that one. That was the one with Kovu, I believe. And then The Little Mermaid, The Little Mermaid 2, Return of to the Sea, The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Beginning, The Little Whirlwind, The Living Desert, The Lizzie McGuire Movie, The Lone Ranger. That one was cool. That's an Army Hammer film with... Uh, um, uh, what's his name? Jack Sparrow. I can't remember his actor name. Johnny Depp. There we go. And uh, the Lonesome Ghosts, the Lost Tomb of Alexander the Great, Lou, uh, the Love Bug, 1969, Love Struck the Musical, Luck of the Irish. That was a sick. That was a kind of creepy film because it came out when I was really young. But that movie creeped me out. But I watched it again later and I actually really liked it. So it was cool. Luxo Jr. Man Among Cheetahs, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Mars Inside SpaceX, Mars Needs Moms, Marvel... Okay, so these... I never watched the Marvel Rising, but I will watch that if it's on Disney+. Plus. Marvel Rising Secret Warriors. Um, that's the one where it's all girls, if I'm not mistaken. Um, not a lot of, like, pull for me, except that I can watch that with my daughter. You know what I mean? So I like, I like that kind of stuff uh, when I can like bond with my daughter over superheroes. Marvel Studios Assembling a Universe. That I will 100% watch like 50 times. And then Marvel Superhero Adventures Frost Fight. I have seen that one. It's darn good. In fact, that one was is – I believe it's on Netflix right now or maybe they just took it down. But yeah, that's a good one. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins Returns. Uh, Mater and the Ghost Light. Max Keeble's Big Move. I remember that one. That one, Jeez, that was a long time ago. McFarland, USA. Meet the Deedles. Meet the Robinsons. Melody Time. Mickey, Donald, Goofy, The Three Musketeers. Oh, that was such a classic. I love The Three Musketeers. Mickey's House of Villains. Also a really good one. Mickey's Magical Christmas. Snowed in at the, at the House of Mouse. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. I believe I saw Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas in a hotel room one time. And uh, The Mighty Ducks. Who doesn't love Mighty Ducks? Mighty Joe Young was a great movie um, about a gorilla. And then Mike's New Car. Million Dollar Arm. That's a baseball movie. The Million Dollar Duck. Minutemen. Miracle. Miracle at Midnight. Miracle in Lane 2. Miracle Landing on the Hudson. Miracle, Miracle Landing on the Hudson sounds like how uh, Marvel is going to introduce the Fantastic Four jumping back from space and time, lost in a black hole, and they crash land in the, in the Hudson or something. Um, Miracle on 34th Street, 1947. Miracle on 34th Street, 1994. Mission to the Sun. The Mistletones. Uh, Moana, of course. Modern Inventions. Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire. Oh, I don't know. I've only seen like half of that movie, but it was really interesting. And then Monsters, Inc., Monsters University, Moto Crossed, Mr. Boogity, Mr. Holland's Opus. That was a good movie. Um, Mr. Magoo, Mr. Magorium's Wonder Emporium, and Mulan, Mulan 2, The Muppet Christmas Carol, The Muppet Movie. I actually really like these Muppet movies. Muppet Treasure Island, The Muppets 2011, Muppets Most Wanted, uh, Musical Farmer, the My Fake Fiance, My Favorite Martian. Oh, did I remember that one? Oh my gosh. Um, my Future Boyfriend. I haven't seen that. Na National Treasure. I love National. Nick Cage. You put you put Nick Cage in anything. I'm about to watch it. I, I wasn't even. I was on the edge with Teen Titans. Go to the movies. 
I wasn't gonna see it, and then they said Nick Cage is in it. I gotta watch it. I gotta I gotta go watch it now. I love Nick Cage. His like his crazy zany like like my name is Nick Cage. I'm a national treasure. And he's got this kind of kind of voice where he, he kind of talks over himself and sometimes he gets all riled up. You know, he gets all riled up and it's like Nick Cage, you know? He talks all weird. Um, that's him. National Treasure Book of Secrets, Never Been Kissed, Newsies, Newsies the Broadway musical, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now you see it. The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. Never saw that, but I'll probably give it a shake if it's on on Disney Plus. The Odd Life of Timothy Green, Olaf's Frozen Adventure, Old Dogs, Old Yeller. Oh, geez, they're putting Old Yeller on here. <laughs> That's a sad, sad movie. Oliver and Company, uh, Once Upon a Mattress, One, One Magical Christmas. There's going to be a ton of Christmas films on here, guys. Operation Dumbo Drop, The Other Me. Oz the Great and Powerful. I think that's the one with James Franco. Uh, the Pacifier. The Parent Trap 1961. The Parent Trap 1998. Paris to Pittsburgh. Partly Cloudy. Part Party Central. People Like Us. Perry. Pete's Dragon 1977. Pete's Dragon 2016. I haven't seen either of those. I know everyone's freaking out. Oh my gosh, you haven't seen Pete's Dragon? That is correct. I have not seen Pete's Dragon. But I will when it's on Disney+. Plus. Peter Pan, Peter Pan Return to Neverland, Phantom of the Megaplex, Phineas and Ferb, Mission Marvel. See this? I will watch. I don't watch Phineas and Ferb, and I never I never have, but I will watch Mission Marvel. Uh, and then maybe that'll get me into the rest of the show. Phineas and Ferb, the movie, Across the Second Dimension, Piglet's big movie, uh, Pinocchio. I hate Pinocchio. I am never going to watch that again. I don't – you could try to you – could, you could offer me money – to watch Pinocchio again and I'm probably still gonna turn it down like you know what no thanks I'm I, at this point in my life I'm pretty good at making money so I'll just make money and never have to watch it again I hate Pinocchio um, Piper the fa the pirate fairy Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man Tell No Tales Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides Pirates of the Caribbean um, the curse of the Black Pearl you'll notice Pirates of the Caribbean is something people never want to say in its entirety. It's kind of like Saturday Night Live. No one says Saturday Night Live. They say Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live. It's Saturday Night Live. They skip all of the consonants and go straight to Night Live. Night Live. It's Saturday Night Live. No one ever says it. So Pirates of the Caribbean. It's Pirates of Caribbean is how everyone says it now. And uh, the Pixar story. Pixel Perfect. Pizza My Heart. I didn't know that was a freaking movie. I thought that was just this restaurant. Um, anyway, I don't know if everyone out there has a pizza in my heart. It's good pizza. But I, I didn't know if it was I, – I, apparently it's based on a movie or there's a movie at least once. Um, Planes, Planes, Fire Rescue, Planet of the Birds, Pluto's Christmas Tree, Pocahontas, Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World, Pollyanna, uh, Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin, Pooh's Heffalump Movie, um, The Prince and the Pauper, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, Princess, The Princess and the Frog, The Princess Diaries, The Princess Diaries 2 Royal Engagement, The Princess Protection Program, Prom, The Proof Point, The Proud Family Movie, Queen of Katwe, Quince, Race to Witch Mountain, The Gladi or I'm sorry, The Radiator Springs 500 Half. Um, Ralph Breaks the Internet, which was a good movie. Ratatouille, also a great movie. Read It and Weep, Ready to Run, Real Steel. I liked Real Steel. I think Real Steel was the one with Hugh Jackman. Um, Recess, All Growed Up. Oh, no. Recess, All Growed Down. That's, yeah. I remember seeing, I think it was maybe that one. Or, no, you know what? I'm thinking of Re uh, Rugrats, All Grown Up. I think that's the one. Re uh, Recess, School's Out. Recess, Taking the Fifth Grade. Red Red's Dream, The Reluctant Dragon, Remember the Titans. That's like an all-time great film ever. Uh, I don't know anyone who didn't watch the Remember the Titans and love it. Um, the Rescuers Down Under, Return from Witch, Witch Mountain, Return from uh, ret sorry, Return to Halloween Town, Return to Oz, Richie Rich's Christmas Wish, Right on Track, Riley's First Date, A Ring of Endless Light, Rip Girls, uh, Robin Hood, The Rocketeer, 
Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I love Rogue One. I'm so glad they're putting that on there at launch. The Rookie, Rookie of the Year, Roving Mars, Ruby Bridges, The Sacred Planet, Saludos Amigos, Sammy the Way Out Seal, uh, The Sandlot, heck yeah, Sanjay's Super Team, Santa Buddies, The Legend of Santa Paws, The Santa Claus, yes, The Santa Claus 2, heck yeah, and The Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause, which I actually liked the most out of all the films because it had uh, Martin Short in it. I liked him as Jack Frost. And then uh, there was The Santa Paws 2, The Santa Pups, Saving Mr. Banks, one of my wife's favorites, um, Science Fair, The Scream Team, Sea of Hope, America's Underwater Treasures, The, T the Search for Santa Paws, The Secret of Magic... Sorry, The Secret of the Magic Gourd, Secret of the Wings, Secretariat, Secrets of Christ's Tomb, Explorer Special. Wow, that's interesting. Um, I have never heard of that. Secrets of Life, Secrets of the King's... Uh, Secrets of the King Cobra, The Sha... Sorry, The Shaggy DA, The Shaggy Dog, 1959, The Shaggy Dog, 2006. I remember seeing those. Those were awesome. Sharks... Of Lost Island, Sharpay's Fabulous Adventure, Shipwrecked, The Sign of Yes, The Sign of Zorro, The Simpsons Movie that was hilarious, The Sister Act, Sister Act Two, Back in the Habit, The Skeleton Dance, Sky High, dude, Sky High was the first time I ever got to see Daniel Panabaker act, and I love Sky High, one of my favorite films with um. Uh, with Daniel Panabaker for sure, and also um, who's the chick that's playing that's playing Huntress um, in uh, in the new Harley Quinn film? I can't remember her name, but she plays the villain in this one. It's, so, it's such a cool movie. You guys gotta see Sky High. Super, it's like a it's a superhero high school film. It's awesome. Skyrunners, Sleeping Beauty, Smart House, Snow, Snow Two, Brain Freeze, Snow Buddies. Snow Dogs, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, of course, um, Snowball Express, Snow Globe 2007, Solo, A Star Wars Story, which I believe was way better than people were giving it credit for. By a long shot better than people were giving it credit for. Um, I actually greatly enjoyed Star Wars, A Solo Story, or uh, Solo, A Star Wars Story, and I was mad that they decided to back off it when they were still touting that Ryan Johnson's gonna get a trilogy even though everyone hated his film when you know solo no one asked for the film but if you if you watched it and you saw the end it's freaking cool i i you know darth maul's in it i'm gonna spoil it for all you guys who didn't see it because you're probably not gonna see it if i don't tell you that but the sorcerer's apprentice um the sound of music space buddies space camp splash spook buddies then they have all the star wars films look at that They've got A New Hope, Attack of the Clones, Return of the Jedi, Revenge of the Sith, The Clone Wars 2008, um, which I think that might be an animated film. And then uh, it is an animated film, which preludes the um, the TV series, the cartoon. The Empire Strikes Back, The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Phantom Menace. Then you have Starstruck, Steamboat Willie, Se uh, Stepsister and the Planet... I'm sorry, Stepsister from Planet Weird, Stitch the Movie, that's a cool one, Stonehenge Decoded, Secrets Revealed, The Story of Robin Hood and His Merry Men, Straight Talk, Strange Music, The Strongest Man in the World, Stuck in the Suburbs, The Sweet Life Movie, yes, I love The Sweet Life, um, Sultan and the Rockstar, Super Buddies, The Swap, Sweet Home Alabama, Swing Vote, Swiss Family Robinson, yes, okay, this was these were awesome. The 1960, yes, also. But The Swiss Family Robinson, amazing, amazing film. Uh, like a family gets trapped on, I think it's, uh, they get trapped on New Guinea Island. And they're stuck there with a bunch of animals. They have to learn to like live in the wilderness and they end up falling in love with the island. It's so cool. Um, the Sword in the Stone, Telltale, Tangled, Tangled Before Ever After, Tangled Ever After, Tarzan, Tarzan 2, Tarzan and Jane, Teacher's Pet, Teen Beach 2, Teen Beach Movie, Teen Spirit, That Darn Cat, That Darn Cat 1977, The 13th Year, 
Thor, Thor Ragnarok, Thor the Dark World, the three Caballeros. I love that one. Or it's Caballeros. Um, and then uh, those Callaways, three days, three little pigs, three men and a baby, three men and a little lady. three The Three Musketeers, Tiger Cruise, the Tigger movie, Till Dad Do Us Part, Tiny the new, or is it teeny teeny the new life of violet violetta T uh, tinkerbell tinkerbell and the great fairy rescue tinkerbell and the legend of the never beast titanic 20 years later with james cameron um oh, that's interesting then tom and huck tomorrowland to toy story one two and three toy story tunes hawaii vacation toy story tunes party saurus rex toy story tunes small fry trail of the panda Treasure Buddies, Treasure Island, Treasure of Matacumbe, Treasure Planet, Tree Climbing Lions, uh, Tron, Tron Legacy, True Confessions, Tuck Everlasting, Turner and Hooch, Twas the Night, Twitches, Twitches 2, U.S. Secret Service on the Front Line, The Ugly Dutch Hound, Dutch End, um, The Ultimate Christmas Present, Under the Sea, A Descendant's Short Story, oh, that's cool. Um, under the Tuscan Sun, Underdog, Unidentified Flying Oddball, Up, Up, Up and Away, Valiant, The Vanishing Prairie, Waking Sleeping Beauty, Wally, which is great, Walt and El Grupo, Wendy Wu Homecoming Warrior, that's a Brenda Song film, What About Bob, When in Rome, While You Were Sleeping, Whispers and Elephant's Tale, White Fang, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and uh, The Wild, Willow, so those are two films, The Wild and Willow, Winged Seduction, Birds of Paradise, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, A Very Merry Pooh Year, um, Winnie the Pooh, Springtime with Rue, The Wise Little Hen, Wi The Wizard's Return, Alex vs. Alex, which I believe is a Wizards of Waverly Place film, Wizards of Waverly Place, the movie, Wo uh, World's Greatest Dogs, Wreck-It Ralph, A Wrinkle in Time, You Again, you lucky dog, you wish, the young black stallion, your friend it, the rat, zapped, xenon girl of the 21st century, xenon the sequel, xenon z3, zombies 2018, and zootopia. Holy dang. That's that took me 43 minutes approximately to get or yeah, 42 minutes to get read through, just read through with a couple of minor comments that list of films available at launch november 12th holy cow and we haven't even touched the the tv shows so i'm gonna go ahead now and i'm gonna read to you guys all of the tv shows that are available to you at launch for disney plus on november 12th you don't have to wait a couple of days a couple of weeks a few months next year no at launch, all of these TV series will be available for you if you subscribe to Disney Plus on November 12th for either $6.99 or if you're going to get the bundle, it'll be $12.99 for ESPN, um, Hulu Plus, and um, Disney Plus. So it's freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at the TV shows. I'm definitely going to have to break this one up. Um, and yeah, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and show this one off here. Yeah, so 43. Let me just get my mark really quick. Yeah, 43 minutes is fine. So then we have The 7D, 101 Dalmatians, the show. Remember, all of these are TV shows now, okay? Not movies. Adventure of the Gummy Bears. Agent Carter is coming on here. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is coming on here. American Dragon, Jake Lawn. Andy Mack. Ant Farm. Ant-Man Shorts. Ant-Man Shorts. Ant-Man Shorts. I've never seen those, I don't think. So that, that's interesting. I can't wait to see that. Austin and Allie, uh, Avengers Assemble is a TV show I can't wait to rewatch. The Avengers Earth, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, can't wait to watch. Avengers Secret Wars Shorts, can't wait to see. The Avengers United They Stand, uh, the Best Friends Whenever, Big City Greens, Big City Greens Shorts, Big Hero 6 The Series, I would love to see that, and then the shorts from the series. Uh, Billy Dilly Super Duper Subterranean Summer, uh, Bizarre Vark. Bonkers, The Book of Once Upon a Time, The Book of Pooh, meaning probably Winnie the Pooh, 
Uh, Boy Meets World. Oh my gosh, Boy Meets World's coming back. Brain Games, Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, Bug Juice, My Adventures at Camp, Bunked, Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers. I used to watch that all the time as a kid. Coop and Cammy Ask the World and Coop and Cammy Ask the World Shorts. Um, Crash and Bernstein. Uh, Darkwing Duck. <laughs> yes, Darkwing Duck's coming back on here. Descendants, Wicked World Shorts. This Disney's Fairy Tale Weddings. Disney's or Disney Junior Musical Nursery Rhymes. Disney Mu Sorry, let me read that again. Disney Junior Music Nursery Rhymes. Doc McStuffins. Dog Whisperer and with Caesar Milan. I can't believe they're putting the Dog Whisperer on here too. Doug, yes. Dr. K's Exotic Animal ER. Dr. Oakley Yukon Vet. Drain the Oceans. DuckTales from 1987. DuckTales from 2017. And DuckTales Shorts. Heck to the yes. Tons of DuckTales on here. Elena of Avalor Shorts. The Emperor's New School. Yes. Even Stevens. It's back. And guys, look at this. The TV show. The animated Fantastic Four 1994 TV series, which you probably haven't seen, is coming onto Disney Plus. No doubt remastered. It's going to be so cool. And then Fantastic Four, World's Greatest Heroes, another TV series you probably haven't seen. And then Fastlane, Gargoyles, Girl Meets World, Goldie and Bear, Good Luck Charlie, Goof Troop, Gordon Ramsay Uncharted, Gravity Falls, and then Gravity Falls Shorts, Great Migrations, Guardians of the Galaxy 2015 TV series, and then Guardians of the Galaxy Shorts, probably from that same series handy manny henry hungle monster if i'm saying that correctly hercules hostile planet i didn't do it imagination movers the incredible dr pole check this out guys the incredible hulk and i believe this is the animated incredible hulk i'm not 100 sure if this is the live action incredible hulk with bill bixby and lou ferrigno but if it is that is one of my favorite tv shows of all time, hands down, I would get the whole, I would pay the subscription just to watch that again. I love The Incredible Hulk, and I would, I've never seen the animated series, so I will 100% be watching that show, whether it is live action and I've already seen it, or animated and I haven't seen it. Inhumans, I watched Inhumans. If you guys didn't see this, this is a live action Inhumans show. It kind of bombed. It's not, it's not terrific. In fact, it's the one thing that right after they launched it, there was like zero marketing for it anymore because they were ashamed of it. But um, I thought that they had a decent enough cast, but they they crapped out on the budget and the marketing. So um, it was just not not great. And they, they really showed how little effort they put into it. This was their probably Marvel's one of their worst projects in recent years. But check it out. It's actually not – it's not unwatchable. It's just <laughs> – it's not great. <laughs> And then uh, Iron, and that's coming from me, guys. I'm like Captain Optimism. Iron Man 1994 TV series, Iron Man Armored Adventures, which is really good. Jake and the Neverland Pirates, Jesse, Jonas, Casey Undercover, Kicking It, Kim Possible, Kingdom of the White Wolf, which I don't believe is Marvel. Um, Kirby Buckets, which is not Super Smash Bros. Lab Rats, Lab Rats, Elite Force, Legend of the Three Caballeros. Um, Le Lego Disney Frozen Northern Lights, which is shorts. Lego Star Wars All Stars, yes, TV series. Lego Star Wars Droid Tales, TV series. Lego Star Wars The Free Maker Adventures, TV series. Lego Star Wars The Resistance Rises, TV series. And Life Below Zero, Legend of uh, Lilo and Stitch, The Lion Guard. Oh, by the way, Lilo and Stitch, this is not the movie, this is the show. All of these are TV shows. So, The Lion Guard, Little Einsteins, The Little Mermaid TV Show, Live and Maddie, Lizzie McGuire TV Show. Uh, I say TV show just because I don't want you guys to get, to conf to get all confused. Lo Lost Treasures of the Maya, Marvel Rising Initiation, Marvel's Rocket and Groot. I didn't even know there was a show. Marvel's Spider-Man Shorts, Marvel's Superhero Adventures. Can't wait to watch. Marvel Ultimate Comics TV Show. Can't wait to watch. Mech X4. Never heard of it. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, loved it. Mickey and the Roadster Racers, Mickey Mouse Shorts, Mighty Ducks short, uh, TV Series, Mighty Med, Miles from Tomorrowland, Milo Murphy's Law, Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, Muppet Babies, 
Muppet Moments shorts, the Muppets TV series, My Friends Tigger and Pooh, The New Adventures of Winnie and the Pooh, or Winnie the Pooh, One Strange Rock Origins, The Journey of Humankind, Out of the Box. Oh, I remember Out of the Box. Heck yeah, that was such a good show. Phil of the Future, freaking awesome. I love Phil of the Future. Phineas and Ferb. I haven't seen it, but I will totally watch that Marvel version first, and then I'll get maybe it'll suck me into that. PJ Masks. Uh, oh my gosh. That's why PJ Masks disappeared from Netflix. Disney is taking it. Yes. PJ Masks. That was or it's uh, technically it's still on Netflix, I think right now, but they're getting PJ Masks. That's amazing. Uh, my daughter loves that show. That's why I'm freaking out. I don't, I don't actively watch PJ Masks, but my daughter watches it, so I don't want that to go away. Puppy Dog Pals, Quack Pack, Randy Cunningham, Ninth Grade Ninja, uh, Raven's Home, Recess. Dude, Recess is coming back. The Replacements, Rocky Mountain Animal Rescue, Shake It Up, Sheriff Callie's Wild West, Silver Surfer 1998. Woo! I've actually watched the entire thing. Um, out on the internet, but I'm really grateful that it's going to come in better quality and better audio to Disney Plus. I will watch that like three, four, five times over, no doubt. It's so fun. This this is what Silver Surfer should be. This Silver Surfer, not the one from from what is it, 2005 five or six or something? I don't remember what it was, but yeah, this is the real one. The Simpsons, which is by the way, every season of The Simpsons is coming to Disney Plus. Um, the smart, smart guy, so weird, Sophia and the first, Sonny with a chance, Soy Luna, Special Agent Oso, Spider-Man 19, this is where we get awesome guys, check this out, look at all this Spider-Man action, look at this, Spider-Man 1981 TV series, Spider-Man 1994 TV series, Spider-Man and his amazing friends, Spider-Man Unlimited, and Spider-Woman 1979, I will Watch every single one of these, start to finish, probably twice, at least. Um, Star versus the Forces of Evil. Star Wars Blips. Star Wars Forces of Destiny. Star Wars Rebels. Star Wars Rebels Shorts. Star Wars Resistance. Star Wars The Clone Wars. Stuck in the Middle. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. The Sweet Life on Deck. Supercar Mega Build. Sydney to the Max. Take Two with Phineas and Ferb Shorts. Tailspin. Uh, Tangled the series, Tangled Shortcuts, Teacher's Pet, That's So Raven. T oh, they're bringing back That's So Raven. That, I, I actually really enjoyed that growing up. Timon and Pumbaa, the TV series. Tron Uprising, Ultimate Spider-Man, heck to the yes. Vampirina, uh, Violetta, Wall Walk the Prank. Oh, Walk the Prank. Wild Yellowstone, uh, Wizards of Waverly Place. Look at this. Wolverine and the X-Men, yeah. And then they have these. Look at this. This made my day right here. Wolverine we'll and the X-Men, X-Men 1992, and X-Men Evolution. What more could you ask for, dude? As a fan of X-Men, every X-Men fan loves the 92 series. Every one of them. And X-Men Evolution, if you did not get a chance to watch that, was an awesome TV show. They did so much in that show that was legit. They did new, new takes on the relationships. They finally, finally... Try, they made some degree of effort to repair the damage that the early X-Men films did to Cyclops' character. They Because the movies got Cyclops wrong, man. They got him way wrong. Um, but not X-Men Evolution. X-Men Evolution did right by Cyclops. I love that series. And that's it, guys. So all this is like more like, you know, those are like the ads and stuff. But basically, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out on this list. Do you guys see this? I mean, do you look at this? Are you guys perceiving what I'm perceiving? Look at this. That mark down there is the is the TV is that right there? That's the television shows. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Look at that massive massive list. Can you even count what is happening here? I sure can't. That is ridiculous. Look at how many and those are just the TV shows. If we go up, we can see here. Look at this. I'm going to go up. Look at that. Every jump I do is about five movies. Look at how many movies there are here. Every time I jump, that's about five films. Boom. Boom. Nope. Nope. Still got to scroll. Still scrolling. I'm going to pick up the pace here. 
Picking it up. Oh my gosh, look at how long it's taking. We went through all of these films. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That is so many films. So many shows. It's unbelievable. I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you guys to tell me what is your favorite film on this list, what is your favorite TV show on this list, and which ones you're most excited to watch from Disney+. Plus. Because after looking at this, guys, you will never watch all of this. You will never watch all that. If you can actually sit down from November 12th and eventually... By the time we're all 100 years old, have finished everything that Disney Plus has to offer. Everything. Including the shorts. I'll buy you a t-shirt. I'll buy you two t-shirts. That's insane. That's crazy. And uh, yeah, dude. Like, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. But that's it, guys. I mean, that's the gist of what I wanted to show you guys. That's, you know, if you guys have any more any more comments, you know, you can ask them now. We're coming into the last, like, four or five minutes of this i just wanted to show you guys a couple of things that i have been working on and just let you guys know the fan casting summit is still currently delayed i have all of the stuff necessary to do it i just have to work on and get that project finished it's a massive massive presentation massive project a lot of uh the coordination aspects are done i've already gotten what i need for the project i just need to compile that presentation create the videos record it and then edit it and then upload it. It doesn't sound like a lot when I say that, but it's gonna take me a couple of, in, it's, it'll take me an intentional couple of weeks to get that done. So we might be looking at another month before that fan casting summit. I apologize for the delays, but there's been so much going on. So thank you for your, for your support. Thank you for your patience. And uh, in the meantime, I just wanted to show you guys some of the new stuff I've got going on on the merch store. If you guys are fans of Supernatural, I've got four new designs that I've uploaded over the last uh, day and a half. So I wanted to show you guys these things are, are now available as well as the, hall, the Superman Hall of Fame. Who is your Superman? Who is your favorite Superman actor of all time? Is it Henry Cavill, Brandon Routh, Tom Welling, Tyler Hoechlin, Christopher Reeve, Dean Cain. Maybe you haven't heard of these guys, but George Reeves, Kirk Allen... Bob Holiday, Bill Murray, I bet you didn't know he played Superman at one point. Ben Affleck, also, yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. No, no, no. Daniel D'Lo, he is Batfleck. He is Batman. You're right. But did you know that he also played a Superman at one point? And I will let you guys figure out how he did that, what was the situation, and you guys will be surprised as I was when I discovered that not so very long ago. And also Nick Cage, Matt Bomer, who I bet you guys may or may not have known played Superman, not just as a voice, but he did play him in live action. And also uh, Gerard Christopher and John Hames, who played Superboy, but they were playing Clark Kent Superboy, not um, Connor Kent. Um, and Channing Tatum, of course, if you guys didn't know that. Now there's also the Batman stuff. So... I'm not going to linger much longer. You guys have probably already seen this one. But Ben Affleck, Christian Bale, Kevin Conroy, Michael Keaton, George Clooney, Val Kilmer, Adam West, Andy Samberg, David Mizzouz, Pete Holmes, uh, Kevin Porter, Jimmy Kimmel, Will Arnett, Jason O'Mara, Bruce Greenwood, Lewis Wilson. And then we go to page two. I've got a lot of these designs up here, guys. Um, and Robert Lowry as well. I've got my own merch, The Stuff of Legend and Phantom Much Fiction, which is what I am, what you are. Fan cast, Bat fan, help me Dave Filoni, you're my only hope, Star Wars t-shirt, and uh, to-do list, eat, sleep, and cat, or eat, cast, and sleep, sorry, I did that wrong, and uh, tons and tons of Power Rangers, if you guys like the Power Rangers, if you guys enjoy the Power Rangers, grew up on the Power Rangers, you are going to like what I have going on here, uh, I assure you guys, you guys are going to have a lot of fun with these ones, especially like if you guys like the Pink Ranger, for instance, I like the Pink Ranger a great deal. Um, then you can get these t-shirts for 13 bucks. It's on sale right now. You can get a hoodie. You can change the colors, by the way. Just because the display is one color doesn't mean that you have to stick to that. You can go ahead and say, you know what? I kind of want a Pink Ranger shirt in red. I think that would be nice. Or you could just go, you know, no, you know what? I, I like the pink on black. That looks nice. Um, 
You can grab a sticker. You can grab a mug. The mugs are really cool. I've had a lot of people buy the mugs recently, actually, and this has been really nice. But you can also get a travel mug if you guys want a lid on that or if you do a lot of driving. Um, you can get the $22 mug with your favorite Power Ranger on that mug or your favorite Superman or your Batman or you can get Supernatural. You can get Baby, the 1967 Chevy Impala um, on there. You know, you can get a lot of things. So I just wanted to show you guys that those things are indeed available. These are also my other designs like Zeo Pink Ranger. And um, yeah, I really appreciate your guys' support. Appreciate the time. Know that this has been a very long video, so I will cut it short now. But you guys, let me know what you want to see me talk about next time in the comments down below because I'm always checking those. And you could see your favorite topic or question answered or discussed in a video right here on the Stuff of Legend. You guys, make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And please turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you won't miss a single thing. Anyways, thanks guys. I appreciate you. You stay tuned for more right here on the Stuff of Legend.